Hey everybody, today we're taking a look at the AlphaTech IQ Charger 3.1. This is a spy cam that looks like a charger and nobody's gonna know the difference. Let's get right into it. Before we get started, let's take a closer look at the camera and some of the additional components you might want in order to read your micro SD card and change files. So if we take a look here at the charger camera, as you'll notice at the very top, there is a micro SD card slot right there. It's small and narrow. If you're not familiar, micro SD cards look kind of like this. They're really small. There are a variety of different brands on the market from SanDisk to Samsung and otherwise. You just wanna make sure that one has the appropriate size and read and write speed as recommended in the user manual. However, when it comes time to put this in, you can insert it. It only goes in one way and it'll slide in like so. And what you wanna do is depress it and push it in. So if you have a little bit of a fingernail, such as I do, you can press it in and you'll be able to get it in and out easily and it pops out. But if not, you can always use the end of like a ballpoint pen and that'll also make it really nice and easy to get it in and out of the camera. Now, when it comes time to use the micro SD card, we've got a couple of options. These two are included. These are optional over here for Apple products. So the first one that we have right here is gonna be a micro SD card reader, and it has a regular USB-A port here. So same thing as before, you'll take the micro SD card and then you can slide this in just like this, and you can either plug this into the side of your computer or a USB hub or whatever you might have. However, if you don't have some something like this available to you. Maybe you're using a MacBook Pro or something like that where they only have USB-C ports. You can use this right here and this will attach right on top of this just like so. So now you can plug this into the side of a MacBook Pro or if you're on a newer phone like an Android of some sort that has a USB-C port, you could plug this in directly and soon all iPhones will have USB-C as well. Having said that, if you're an iPhone user and your phone still uses the lightning cable adapter, which looks like this, we've got a couple options. These are affordable and easy to find online. Option one here is this one. It's got the USB-A port on the end here. So you could utilize this component, which comes as part of your kit. It plugs right on here, and then you can plug this into a tablet or your phone. If you wanna bypass it altogether, we've got this one over here, which has its own micro SD reading card slot in it. Right, and you can just plug it right in here like so. Yes, the micro card's in there, and then you can plug directly into the phone. So whatever one you prefer is the one that you can have as an iPhone user. Now, if you ever have any issues or something went wrong with the recording or the camera just stops recording, we can reset the camera as follows here. One, we're gonna wanna eject the micro SD card here and remove this. We'll use the provided USB to USB cord right here. You can plug this into the front of the camera and into another charger or an external battery bank such as this. And the reset button is located in the hole. You might use one of these reset tools or maybe even a paper clip. Press it in there, hold it for five to 10 seconds, wait for the lights to go off, and then we can reuse the micro SD card again. All right, so into the computer we go to watch the videos and to change the text file, which will change the time and date that gets stamped on your videos, and you could turn that feature on and off. So once the SD card is read, you'll probably notice that down here is no name. You could always rename this if you want to. And if you click on this, we're gonna have a couple of options right here within this folder. So we have our video files, Yes, I've only recorded one for right now and you can double click this and it'll open up into your movie player of choice that's right there within your computer and you can watch it. And what you'll notice in the bottom left hand here, we have some weird date and time stamps. It is definitely not October 22nd of 2022, but we're gonna change that as well as the time and is not uh, 11.59 uh, at night or almost in the morning. So we're gonna take a look at how to do that. But you could watch your video, you can hit play, it's gonna play here and you can see me clunking around. So the first thing that we wanna do is we're gonna go up into the text file. Yes, you can open this up. And what you'll notice is here's where we're going to change it. So it does use the 24 hour format. Yes, it is November 22nd of 2023 and it is 3.07 p.m. So in 24 hour time, that would be 15.07. And as I said, it is November 22nd of 2023. And right here, this Y, you have a yes or no option. So if you leave it as yes, the time and date will be stamped into your videos. If you change that value to a no, just to an N right there, it won't record anything on top of your video. So it's totally up to you. I'm gonna keep it on yes for now, for examples. And then all you have to do is close that out and you're gonna hit save and you'll be good to go. And just to go back and verify that everything looks good, for me, I can hit spacebar and open it up, but I'm just gonna verify that everything is good to go. 
Now, if we go back and record a new video, you can see this new video right here has an appropriate date and time since it's been updated. And if we open this up, you can see my beautiful mug shot right here. And in the bottom left corner, yes, the time and the date have been updated and it's stamped and recorded on top of it. So just a quick side note, so it's clear when you change the time.txt file, the camera reads that file off the micro SD card and then updates it into the chip in the camera. It doesn't change it on the SD card. Hopefully I'm not overcomplicating that, okay? But basically, once you get it set in the camera, it's always gonna be there. No matter how many times you remove the micro SD card or unplug and plug the camera, it's always gonna be up to date. Now on to Android. And if you're finding this information helpful, don't forget to leave a comment or a review down below so other people can find this helpful information as well. So for me, I'm gonna plug this directly into the bottom. This is a Samsung phone, but most Androids are on USB-C at this point in time. And depending on where your phone is set up and how you have it organized, usually I go to my files folder here and you can open this up and you can scroll down and you'll notice that there's internal storage and USB storage such as this one. You can click on it. There's not a whole lot of files in here, but if you had video files recorded, you could hit that video button yeah, and you can open this up and watch any of the videos through your selected video player just like this and you can watch it live on your phone now if we want to make an adjustment to the text file so we can change the time and the date just like we had previously done go ahead and click on the time text file right there if you don't have an app already simple text editor is free and it'll allow you to directly edit it you can click on that. You'll notice that it's gonna open up right here at the top and you can go through and change any of these right here. So we'll change the value from yes to no. And what I have to do here is it won't actually allow me to save it and directly overwrite it right here. So what I do is save as, and then I go back, I'm gonna click on the file where it says time.txt, but I could rename it at the bottom. You can see it's changed. I hit save and it says overwrite. Okay, it's good to go. Now, if we go back and verify just to make sure that everything has set, I click it once again, I open it, and you can see that the value has changed from yes to no. Last but not least, we've got the iPhone right here. So plug your SD card in with either adapter. We're gonna go into the file folder and that should come up here underneath your locations. We've got no name. If you wanna watch the videos, you can do that just like we did on the Android by clicking one of those. Yes, you can scroll through and scrub front and back into the video as you please. Now, if we wanna change the text file, so we can change the time and the date, we're gonna click on that full file. We're gonna click the share button in the upper right hand corner. And once again, if you don't have a text editing app, you can download one for free. So we're using text editor. It's gonna bring this here and it's gonna open it. So remember on the last one, we had the value here set to no, right? You can go in and edit the time, the date, all of that great stuff. If you wanna change it, we can go over here. We're gonna change that value to yes, so that it displays. So now we're gonna take the edited file and copy it back to the SD card. We're gonna click on the little information button. We're gonna click on the share button in the upper right hand corner once again. And if we scroll down, we're gonna be able to save it to files. We're gonna save it right here to no name, which is our drive. But if you look at the top here, the file name is gonna be text.txt. We need that to be time. So you're gonna click here where it says text. We're gonna take that back. We're gonna name it time, just like that. We're gonna hit done, okay? And now we're gonna hit save. It's gonna ask us if we wanna replace the existing file, which we do, and we're going to replace it, and we're done. Now, once again, if we go back to verify and we click on time, we have changed that yes value up there, but it really could have been the time, date, or anything else. So hopefully that helps you better understand and set up your camera. As a small family owned business, all feedback that we get is invaluable. So if you could please leave a rating or review, a small act can make a big difference to the business.